Welcome back, everybody, to the Detroit Lions franchise. We just have two weeks left in the season trying to make the playoffs. It was a big win last week against Dallas, putting up a 50-burger, and, man, it was a great game for Devin Bush, who picks up the Defensive Player of the Week in the NFC. Nine total tackles. He had two sacks, two pick sixes. What a game from him. He is now up to her superstar, Dev, as well, so... What a performance, really a game of a lifetime for Devin Bush, and it couldn't have come at a better time when we needed that game. So you can see the abilities now for him. So right now we got Adam my way, frequently attempt to win blocks against receivers, tight ends, and running backs. So that will help out in the run game for sure. And then secure tackler, increase success rate when using conservative or diving tackles, what she knows. Sometimes we've had problems with tackling for sure, so hopefully he could be that sure tackle in the middle, help with the run game. So that is awesome to have him up there. He has played so, so well, definitely deserving. But to this game, the Chicago Bears, 11-4. They want this game because they are right there for the division title. We had Frank Rag now, Lee McNeil out, so that hurts us for injury-wise, offensive line-wise. We know this Chicago Bears defense, one of the best in the league, but they are going to miss some guys. Jaquan Brisker out, Levante David out. So they are missing some key guys on their defense, and the question is, can we take advantage? Here comes Justin Fields. Last time we faced this team, we ended up getting a victory, 31-23. But Fields ran all over us. So can we slow him down? Can we slow down this Bears team? Pick up a huge victory. Because either way, there's a good possibility that if we lose this game, we'll see. I mean, our playoff chances could be done. I'm not sure. Depends what other teams do. But the Bears are looking for the division as well. So let's get this one going. Two weeks left. Week 17 underway. Malone will just kneel this down in the end zone. And here comes this offense. Geno Smith at the helm. Kirk Bray has been benched for his play. And now Geno comes in and had a great week last week. Three touchdowns, threw the ball very well. Maybe a career surge, just like he's having in real life in Seattle. Having a heck of a year. Didn't ever expected that. And here we go. Second and eight. Gino back to throw, and here comes the pressure right away. Chambers is going to bring him down. And a third and 20 to uh, start off this game. Not what you want. As Gino looking over the middle. That's going to be caught, Jamison Williams. Nice grab for 17, but short of the first. So the Chicago defense gets a quick three and out. And here comes Justin Fields and this Bears offense. Outstanding. Dual way player. Look at the stats he's putting up in the in the air. 27 touchdowns, one interception. What a season for Justin Fields. We expected this from this Bears team. We thought they were going to be good. And here's Fields taking off up the middle. Devin Bush with the tackle. We thought they could. This was the team I thought could be, you know, that team in this season. And they definitely are. It's just the Packers are. You know, unfortunately for them, having a better season. But they still have a chance here. Maybe win your last two games, have a Packers lose at least one, uh, you can win the division. Second and six. So far, it's just been Justin Fields on the ground. Now the hand of Montgomery. And Montgomery up the middle, just throwing off a defender. I believe that was Kirby Joseph. And this Bears team is just, we're going to hand the ball off. We're going to run the ball. What are you going to do about it? First and ten. Fields is going to keep it again. Good block from the outside. Bush will bring him down. But, man, he's already got 40 yards on the ground. This is what happened to us last time. We're going to have to key on him for sure. Second and 10. Fields looking. Dumps it down underneath Cole Komet with the grab. He'll be picking up around six. So a third down. And we got to really watch Fields. It's tough sometimes to play man-to-man -man because he can just take off or just do that over the middle. Jarvis Landry. First down, down to the four. Yeah, you play man-to-man -man coverage, which, I, you know, we like to play. It's tough against these type of quarterbacks because unless you have a spy, he can just take off. Second and goal. Hand off to Montgomery. Breaking through, and he's in for the touchdown. So Chicago answers first. Gets the first touchdown of the board. Takes the lead here early on. 7 nothing in the run game for Chicago. Looking good, Montgomery. One of those tough backs to bring down, and we just can't do it. 
So seven nothing start. And let's get this offense rolling. Jamal Williams in the backfield, and that's a great start. Get in a block, room to run, and Williams is gonna keep going. Gets into Chicago territory up to the 45 yard, 49 yard line. Give him 26 yards on the ground just like that. Nice job, nice run, man. Jamal Williams is just taking off in this later part of the season. Going up for Jamison Williams. Double coverage, maybe not the best throw. Can't bring it down as is Corey Stinson. Maybe one of the best corners in football. First round draft pick a few years ago for this Bears team with the defense there. But not this time. We'll go away from him. Go to Adrian Olsen for the grab. And he's got a first down up to the 35-yard line. Trying to answer that touchdown of Chicago. Swift. Give it to him. Good, a good block up the middle. Keeps the legs grinding. Picks up around seven. And a second down of three. These are the positions that we want to be in offensively. You know, those chances where you can easily just run the ball, maybe take a shot on second down. If not, third and two, third and three, we can run it if we want. First and ten, Swift getting a good block, breaks off one tackle, and he's down to the 16, so they got a first down now. Got a second and ten from the 14. Play action, Gino rolling out, running out of time, fires it, cross body. And luckily for us, Chandler Brooks is there for the grab as we head into the second quarter. Third down. They're bringing some heat. It's picked up. Gino over the middle, and he's got it. Jamison Williams, touchdown. Great job by this offensive line. Picking up that blitz, allowing him to find his receiver, and Jamison Williams comes up with a nice grab in the end zone for the TD as we tie this game up at seven apiece. Now we got to shut down Justin Fields. We cannot let him get loose. And here we go again. As, oh man, Bush misses the tackle. Breaks off another tackle from Barnes. And finally, McDougal will bring him down, but not before he picks up 20 yards. Man, we had him with Devin Bush and just missed him. Setting up a screen this time. He's not going to get it off. Derek Brown will bring him down for the sack. That is huge. Because a third and 17, this is kind of what you got. I mean, you want to put any offense in this spot, but this is... What we need to do is put this Bears offense in this type of area. I mean, they got some solid receivers, don't get me wrong, but we got to make them throw. They love to run the ball. We have to make them throw, and we get a stop. First and 10 now, back on the offensive side of the ball. We'll get this one to shot. Bateman, Bateman with the grab. He's got a first down easily, 12 yards. He's up to the 32-yard line. Good start to this drive. Single back, Swift. He's got plenty of room to run. Gets a nice block, but the ball is loose. And Chicago's going to recover. Oh, man. And now Jamison Williams is down. DeAndre Swift with the fumble. Eddie Jackson with the recovery. And now Chicago with some very good field position as Montgomery with the run. Peck strain for Jamison Williams. So good to see he is fine and won't be out for an extended period of time. Third and nine. Outside, and that's going to be picked off. It went off Claypool's hand. Hughes, he is going to be run down, but that's going to be a huge turnover. As we get the ball right back. Yeah, I think Claypool had it for a second. It just hit off his hand. Yeah, it did. He just dropped it. It was right in his hands. He drops it. Hughes is there. Perfect opportunity. And now we got this ball at the 25-yard line, but we got a big third and seven. Here comes the blitz from the Bears, and oh, man, lofts it up. Ridley does have the grab, but that should have been a touchdown. Man, if we would have just made a, a better throw, maybe just gunned it instead of the total lob that it was, that's a touchdown. There was nobody there. But anyway, good play. First down, down to the 13. Smith over the middle. That is completely off incomplete missed his man there and brings up a third down and 10 here comes that blitz off the outside here comes Geno's rolling out looking trying to find something and he'll just throw it away we'll take the field goal man I'll tell you what that Panay Sol, you know ability seeing that blitz just help I mean really helps out a lot you can just prepare for yourself already for it I mean I, is it maybe a little probably should turn it off maybe but I don't know I think having a smart offensive lineman that does pick them up, you know, in reality, you know, happens a lot too. There's a lot of guys that pull that, but you know, point that out. 
And Panay Soul is definitely one of those guys. As that Bears first down play, not going to count. Holding, we'll take that one, knock him back. So second and 18 now from the pistol formation. You got Montgomery in the backfield. They're going to hand him the ball. A spin move that does seem to work. And Montgomery picks up 14. So now it's pretty much a, you know, a third and manageable. As Fields over the middle's got Landry, and I believe he has the first down. He does. So Chicago, we put him in that second and long after the holding, and they pick it up. Now over the middle, that's Claypool for the grab. He's just short of the first down. Third and inches, I would be surprised if they don't run. And they got Fields, but Bush overruns, and he overpursued. And now Fields is on the loose. He's down to the 32. I, see, I mean, he's going to have like a... 200-yard rush game the way this is going. We have to stop this. We have to just key on him and allow the running up the middle. First and 10 outside. This time, Claypool will hang on to it for the first down. Yeah, we're just going to have to let him hand it off to Montgomery and then hope our guys up front can make the stop. And here we go again. Fields, great room to run. He's knocked down, but he picks up another 14. He's got 99 on the ground here in this first half. Man, second and goal now from the two. Two minutes left here in this first half. Fields hands off to Montgomery, breaking some tackles, and Montgomery's going to roll in for the touchdown. Second of the game for him in this running game of Chicago is fantastic. We are having struggles. We're going to have to make some second-half adjustments, that is for sure. Love to pick up some points here before the half. Maybe a field goal. And maybe a touchdown. That'd be great because Chicago gets the ball starting in the second half. Gino now rolling out. Has a man down the field. Fires it. Scott Olsen keeps in bounds. And he's up to the 30, picking up maybe an extra six, seven yards after the catch. Instead of rolling out of bounds, we'll call our first timeout. We have 53 seconds left in this half. Gino firing. That's caught. Bateman's got it. Tough, uh, tough matchup there against Stinson. He is fantastic. As we're going to hurry it up here. First and goal. Gino stepping up the pocket. And he is going to be brought down, man. I'm not sure who that was over the middle. If he would have just had maybe had one more second. It's a touchdown. But now third and goal. Gino looking. More pressure comes. He will go down again. And we'll just have to use our last time out here. Bring out Jade Weston. Field goal is going to be sneaking in there. It is good. So we'll pick up some points before halftime, but man, that guy right there is just absolutely destroying us on the ground. I mean, they only have 51 yards passing. He does have the pick, but really that wasn't really his fault. That was a drop pass. Man, we'll have to slow him down in the read option because he's just destroying us right now. Said to Green Bay, this is a big game for Chicago, but 27-10, Green Bay wins. That could be the division. That could be the division for Green Bay, I think. Um, we'll see. Obviously, we'll see what happens. If Chicago loses this game, yeah, then it is clearly a clinched division for Green Bay. This is big here. Seattle at 7-8. and eight. You got San Francisco at 8-7. Eight and seven. I mean, that, that's it's a tough division down to the wire. Who's going to get that one there? Big NFC matchup. You can see how tight, because, I mean, one of those could be a wild card team. Right now, we're at 8-7. and seven. So these games, obviously, are huge. And, it are, I mean, good start for Chicago with Montgomery. I mean, every game down the stretch is huge, especially when you're talking about playoffs. There's no doubt about that. But uh, there's no room for error right now. None. We need this win. Second and 11. Fires underneath. Komet with the grab. And that is going to be picking up around 8 to the 49. Third down and 3. Chicago can run the ball here. We got to watch out. And that's exactly what they're going to do. But we were waiting for it. Does not happen. Wooten's first carry of the game goes nowhere. Lost a three. Nice job by Rodriguez. And the defense forces a punt. So we try to run Jamal Williams. He had that one good run. That's really it. And he has been stuffed ever since. Same with Swift. It's not really happened much in the run game. Second and 10. Find Bear there for the grab. He has a first down. Nice job hanging on to that one in traffic. And a first down, and we're up to the 35. And a swift. Cuts to the outside, but it's not there. 
man, not at all. I mean, it's eight for 42, but yeah, it's one or two good runs, and that is about it. Third and six. Over the middle, has a man open, caught! Calvin Ridley with the grab. Shows up, makes a grab. First down, we're up to the 46-yard line of the Chicago Territory. Nice third down conversion there. Now a play action. Geno fires. Does get hit, but Olsen is there. And with the speed, he'll get up to the 24 as Corey Stinson, the top corner, a bit shaken up. That could help us out a lot. As we're going to play action. Look out, Geno. He is going to go down. Johnson did not fall for that play action. A little trash talk going on there. And knocks us back to the 28, third and 14. Here comes some more blitz. But down the seam, it's caught! Calvin Ridley's got it first down! Safety just couldn't get over in time. Great throw. Picking up a huge first down. We're down to the four. We got Jamal Williams in the backfield. Hand in the ball, cuts up, and he's got a touchdown! As we're going to take the lead here in this third quarter. Huge drive, picking up some big-time third-down conversions. Great passes from Gino, who's, I have to say, looking pretty good. He really is. We'll go for two here to try to get it a seven-point lead. Hand this ball off, and oh, man, he's short. Swift, I thought he had it for sure. I thought that was in. Just didn't have enough. So it's 19-14, five-point lead. Here comes Chicago over the middle, caught Landry, but Devin Bush lays the hit. Only picks up around five. And a third and five. Bringing some pressure over the middle, caught Landry again, but he's going to be stopped. Amani Awarie with a fantastic tackle. Landry, all he really had to do was put the ball out and it would have been a first, but it's a stop. And now can this offense build on this lead? Is Olsen with the grab. First down as Geno took another hit. And ball's a little obviously underthrown, but makes a great adjustment to the ball, Olsen. First down, trying to extend this lead. One minute left here in this third quarter, trying to run with Jamal Williams. He breaks off a couple tackles. Keeps going. And he's up to the 41-yard line. Now we got to try to... Wear down this Bears defense. Because that's probably what that's pretty much what they did us doing the first half of the run game. If we can do that to this team here in the second half, that would be obviously ideal. But Gino, that is not ideal. JD Skillen, number one draft pick for this Bears team, comes up with a big sack as now we start off this fourth quarter with a third and twenty-three. Just be careful with the ball, but wide open! Chandler Brooks, and he get it, and he did. Oh, man, what happened to Chicago's defense there? They just vacated the entire middle of the field. And we pick up a massive first down, as that one is not even close on second down. So another third down, third and nine. Gino to throw. Looking down the seam off there. Oh, man, could have been picked off. Luckily for us, just falls incomplete. We'll bring out Weston. We're about a 46, 47-yard field goal. Kick is up. Curves right in. It's good. So 22-14. It is still a one-possession ball game. Ten minutes left. And here we go. Hand off to Montgomery. Montgomery's going to be stopped. At first, I thought he had the edge there, but nice job from McDougal bringing him down. And we have Keyed on Fields. He hasn't done anything yet. And this one's going to be picked off. Jeff Akuda has a chance to return it. Gets a block from Bush, and he's in for the pick six. Jeff Okuda, last year, had a fantastic season with interceptions. He has yet to have won the entire season. This is his first in week 17. Pick six to extend the lead and keep our playoff hopes alive. Oh, what a play. It's 29-14 now, so two-score game. And now Chicago pretty much is going to have to pass. As Fields, ball is loose. It's picked up from Chicago. But that is a huge play because it's third and 31. Larry Ogunjobi with the pressure. 
And yeah, I don't know what you really do here. You just got to run the ball. Montgomery, ball is loose, and it's recovered. Are you kidding me? Chicago with a gigantic turnover. It's just a 30 and 31. You got to punt the ball away. And Rodriguez just knocks the ball loose from Montgomery. We recover, and we're at the five. Oh, man. Now we got a chance to put it up three scores. And Jamal Williams is going to do just that. What has happened here in the last few minutes? What is going on? We have just extended this lead even further. And now Chicago's down 36-14. <laughs> what a fourth quarter here so far. As first and ten just slings it up. That's way out of bounds. Incomplete. Chicago's got to be in shock right now. You have to be. Third and ten. Fields looking over the middle of the field. That's caught. And off to the races. And I'm not sure we're going to catch him. And he is gone for the touchdown. That is a much needed play for Chicago. Big play. Touchdown. Go for two. And now he's going to be stuffed. So Montgomery stuffed. But Chicago needed a quick score and they get it. And they get it back to a two score game. 36-20. Less than six minutes left. A big third down here. Gino fires. Jamison Williams has got it. Stay in bounds. You want to keep that clock running. And that's a huge first. So 430 left. Second and 11. Bears, they, they really need a turnover. We'll just dump it down to Chandler Brooks. Just hold on to it. You don't want any fumbles here. And uh, careful with the passing too. You know, don't want to pick six. And then just like that, you're back to a crazy game. As Gino looking on third and six, goes up the middle, and he's going to be brought down for another sack. So Chicago forces a punt. There's three minutes left, down two scores. They need another quick score, I would say. And they're going to run a draw to Montgomery. That is an interesting play call. I'm not sure about that. Third and nine. As Fields looking, rolling out, fires, and this one's just going to fall incomplete. So fourth down and nine. I would say this is just about your ball game here because the field position it'll give us. As Fields throws it up, knocked away, incomplete. And we take over at the 11-yard line. And now just trying to, you know, put the cherry on top here. Second and eight, handoff to Jamal Williams. Breaks off one tackle, breaks off another, and he is in for the touchdown. Is that third of, his, third of the game for him? Is that what it is? And that's pretty much going to close this one out. Puts it to 43-20. I mean, this is going to look like a blowout. If you just looked at the score somewhere else, you're going to have 43-20. Just absolutely destroyed. No, this was not. We just absolutely went nuts getting turnovers in, in this fourth quarter and just put it on them. But 43-20 is your final, and that is a huge, huge win and a much-needed victory. Playoff hopes. Still alive. Gino, one touchdown. He was under duress a lot of the day, so give him credit for putting up some good numbers. Jamal Williams, he had three touchdowns on the ground. You know, we still got over 100 yards rushing as a team. Um, yeah, man, this is a close game, and the defense came up with some huge turnovers and putting up, obviously, that pick six from Makuta. Huge, huge play. Rodriguez punching that ball out. And that's a big victory. We have just ended this uh, division title chances for Chicago. That's it for them. Green Bay now is your division winners. And I believe with that victory, too, I'm looking at Let's see. Let's take a look at that. I think they're the number one seed. I think they're the number one seed. So one week left. Ravens win. You're in. Win that division. Titans have already won the division. Jaguars trying to get in. Dolphins have already won the division. I would say they're probably the number one seed in the AFC. Patriots right there. And Chiefs and Broncos. So, maybe not. One of those teams could get the number one seed. Packers, division clinched. I think they're the number one seed at the moment. They have won seven in a row. Bears have already clinched a playoff spot. Panthers and Saints, we'll see what happens there. Uh, will you have a uh, under 500 team win that division? Giants at 10-6. and six, They have won the division. The Commanders are right there at 9-7. and seven. Cowboys at 8-8, eight eight. Seahawks 
eight and eight. So they beat the Niners. They were eight and eight. So I mean, uh, that division's up for grabs too. A lot of eight and eight, seven and nine teams. So that's why that really the Cowboys game was the biggest victory. Because if you lose that game, you're flipping the spot with us in Dallas. They're eight and eight. We're nine and seven. But I, I think looking at it now, I think we can actually. If we lose this game, now we're going out to win. We're going out to beat Green Bay. I'm not putting up to any chances. I think we, but I think we can afford to lose if possible. But I still want to go out. I want to win after the last time performance against Green Bay, which was a disaster. We just got embarrassed. I want to go out, try to win this game, and make sure we are definitely in the playoffs. But it's going to be a big one. It's going to be huge, and uh, we'll, we'll. It's going to be a heck of a game. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Thank you to everybody watching out there. You guys are awesome. Just continue to hit that like button. Subscribe for more Lions franchise content. And I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.